I thought, well, the best way to do it is don't look at it as a research tool. Don't look at it as something that nerds with beards and sandals would use. <laughs> I had what is possibly the best one-to-one -one I've ever had this week. Every time I mentioned a particular company I wanted an introduction to, he knew them. He didn't only know them, he knew the key contact details at that company and had the email addresses and the phone numbers and shared them with me and then helped me work out how to be introduced to them. When I then talked about, as you do in a one-to-one, -one, the kind of businesses that also give me referrals, the kind of people in B&I that give me the most referrals, he then suggested some other companies that were very similar to them that I could possibly speak to as well. And then when I told him what we do and the kind of clients that we help and why the clients help like us, he suggested other clients that I hadn't even thought of. It's probably the most connected person I've ever had a one-to-one -one with in B&I. Anybody else like a one-to-one -one with this person? Yeah. 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 His name's ChatGPT. <laughs> He's got a couple of other mates. One's called Claude. One's called Gemini. There's a few others as well. So whichever one you like to use will work for you. As a show of hands, who currently uses one of those regularly within their business right now? That's more than I was expecting. More than I was expecting. <laughs> Harry put his hands up late there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I use it to cut woods. <laughs> well, it's actually really good for writing emails. It is, it is really good for writing emails. It is really good for writing emails. But I, I was thinking about how can I get this to explain to B&I members who are perhaps going to go, oh, AI, no thank you, I don't want to touch that. I thought, well, the best way to do it is don't look at it as a research tool. Don't look at it as something that nerds with beards and sandals would use. Look at it as having a one-to-one. -one. Because if you use it in a conversational format and you tell it what you do, as you would in a one-to-one, -one, and you tell it who gives you referrals, as you were doing a one-to-one, -one, and you tell it who you were looking for, as you were doing a one-to-one, -one, it will respond to you in a conversational format and it will give you suggestions. And just to prove that this works, I did it yesterday, I spent two minutes on each one and did it for three members in the room, pretending I was someone else. And I'm gonna wear the lesser seeing glasses because my vision is completely going for short distance. So I'm gonna give you these three examples now. I will paste the full transcripts Ray's taking a photo now because I've got glasses on. I will paste the full transcripts into the WhatsApp so the members will have this. For the members I've not done this for, don't ask me to do it for you. You can do it yourself. It's really easy. Uh, I won't say the names of the specific companies it came out with here for the benefits of the video for the thousands watching at home. So the first one I did was, let's scroll to the top here. Uh, if I was a piano restorer, you can all guess who this is, based in Wrexham, and I wanted to be introduced to businesses and people who likely own pianos in the northwest of the UK, what sort of businesses should I be asking for? And ChatGPT came back with a number of different types of businesses broken down by sector. So music and performance venues, it went into the education sector, heritage and hospitality, high-end property, music and retail services, and then gave me a list of people I should be asking for at networking. So I thought, let's break this down and be more specific. Let's look at musicians and music tutors. Could you give me a list of specific musicians or music tutors based within 20 miles of Wrexham? And it did, with their names and where they're actually located. And I'll give these to you later, Martha, so you'll have those. And then it suggested ways I could be introduced to them. But that wasn't enough. I then asked it, can you give me the contact details into that table with the phone numbers and the email addresses? Which it did. So it's given me all of those. That was three prompts, two minutes. I then looked at another member, and I went to, scroll to the top of this one. I went to someone who sometimes struggles to be specific. Because sometimes when you stand up in B&I, if you work with end user, it's difficult to be specific about who you're looking for. If I'm a carpet fitter, based in Chester, and I want to be introduced to a portfolio landlord who own multiple properties and replace their carpets often, could you give me a list of such landlords? People based within 40 miles of Chester and who own multiple properties. Unsurprisingly, ChatGPT said I can't do that because that's private information. But that's okay. I think if I pushed, I'd get more out of it. But it did give me a list of all the people that engage with landlords and speak to landlords on a regular basis. And it gave me a big list of different industries. Uh, put them into a table for me. But I wanted to break this down. I said, can you give me the main points of contact for the property management and rent-to-rent companies, please? 
because there were two companies who I've never heard of who deal specifically with portfolio landlords, one of them based uh, in the Northwest. And it gave me the details, two individual companies with their phone numbers, their email addresses, and an alternate phone. Well, that's no good for B&I, you want to know a specific name. So I said, who are the owners of those two businesses? And it gave me the names and details of the people who own the business, the directors and the marketing managers for each of them. I'll give you those details later then. And then I did one more, don't worry, this is ending soon. I said three to nine minutes. Uh, <laughs> last one I did for someone who sometimes struggles to be specific, but is being more specific <laughs> lately. If I'm an award-winning food photographer based in Chirk in Wales, and I want to work with the best chefs and the best restaurants around Chester, which restaurants should I be working with? Which are the most prestigious restaurants and hotels known for their award-winning food? And ChatGPT has given me a list of 12 restaurants known for either winning Michelin stars or being acclaimed for their food. You're sick of me. Contact them. <laughs> One of which I know you've asked for specifically in the past, so I know it's on the right lines. But it's also got to know what I'm looking for at this stage, and it says, would you like a spreadsheet with these venues with contact names, emails, and phone numbers? Yes, I would. And it's given me that, but it only gave me four, because sometimes AI can be lazy. It wants to save resources, it won't do the full job. So I then went back to it and said, please give me all 12 venues, thank you, in the spreadsheet and add the names of the owners, the managers, and the marketing contacts. And it's done that, give me all of them there, and I will post those into the chat for you later, Ray. So what I'm looking for you to do here is not ask me to do this for you. It's in the next week, I want you all to book your own one-to-one -one with ChatGPT. It will take two minutes of your time and produce a list of all the details you can get for your own referrals. But no, you cannot log it on the app. Thank you very much. <laughs>